So you now create a checklist saying that what do I need to do over here? So what would be the various checks which you will create? And the checks is like a roadmap. The check is also like a product brief. The check is also like what exactly you're planning to do. Because I've noticed a number of times from my experience that when you don't make a good check, you try to add in a lot of unnecessary features into your design. You'll also, you know, start going haywire because you've got a wonderful idea and it doesn't match the requirements in the field. So the check starts with, you know, the issues of offering rest. Then we have, you know, easy to operate. I told you we can become more specific there. Support while standing, selling costs less than 65 rupees and easy to procure. Easy to procure again is very misleading. We need to be more specific there, but maybe if I'm a design student, I think I'll also write what it is, what it means to be easy to procure. Maybe I must, you know, use local manufacturing techniques. I must say that you should use local uh, local systems. You must have orders which are, which are in large quantities so that the cost is less. So see, we have already covered four, and we not even started design or engineering or you know, product design. So now we realize that within a product innovation realm, more than half of it has gone into just checking out what to do. Are you noticing this? So after the check. You're going to look at the conception. There comes the design thinking, the technology aspects, the you know uh, issues of ideas, the issues of how will you develop concepts. You conceive a lot of ideas. You must realize that you would be extremely you know good at solution finding if you're able to make a lot of ideas and do affinity mapping of these ideas. So within a week, we came up with some sketches, and then we talked to Sadanand Date and said we want to come and meet you. And then it dawned on me from my experience of a design that when you go to people who are in the field, you can't take sketches to them. They, they will not even appreciate it. If I show a sketch of a you know, seat prop to a policeman, he will not react much. He said, Theek hai, kar lo. So then came up this very interesting you know, uh, uh, creative uh, aspect. How can I make a quick prototype? And see, quick prototype is very tough. You know, when I told you a prototype which mimics the existing product, at the same time, you know, I, I was into, when I make it quick and dirty, it is like a rig. In this case, you need to use the product. So you can't make it too much away from your real product. So then we were hunting and we knew what materials to use. We knew that we will use, you know, uh, 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 materials which are soft. Then we saw this chair in the office and we said, can I use this, you know, chair handle to design a quick prototype? So we broke this handle out. We chopped it into two parts on the ends, joined it together, welded a small pipe to it and made a prop very quickly and added a bicycle grip to this and we put it on top of the stick and we took this to the police headquarters. Then we went into the commissioner's room and then he called these head uh, uh, constables and with, they took this outside into their uh, area and checked out you know how this works and to our surprise they came back very very happy they did give us a lot of suggestions and they said wow this is good now when will you give us 200 pieces we were shocked i said my god we didn't even have a project in hand you know how does iit professors work we work with projects right we get a project we get some money and then we take the things forward 